Welcome back to Hot Water Wrestling and today we're going to do a DVD review of Heart and Soul, the Heart Family Anthology. And the minute this DVD was announced I was very excited to get my hands on it, very excited to see it, and boy it did not disappoint. What you have on here is a wonderful documentary of the Hart family. All the members, even the ones who weren't wrestlers. And you also have an array of very good, brilliant matches. Um, I will say that the documentary portion of this does start off a little slow. Um, the beginning is really great because you get a lot of Stu Hart history. But then they start getting into all the different members of the Hart family. But I encourage you to sit through it and not to skip any of it because it's a big payoff at the end. Um, it starts off a little slow, like I said, but the minute you start getting into WWE, um, it really takes off and becomes a super, super exciting documentary. One of the better documentaries out there is right here, Heart and Soul, the Heart Family Anthology. If you're a big DVD fan and a big fan of the documentaries like I am, don't be afraid to purchase this because you're going to love it. It was really, really well done. Um, the WWE has uh, not been doing a lot of documentaries lately, at least not in-depth ones like we have on here. Um, you know, they did a lot of in-depth ones with, you know, the Hitman's DVD and Ric Flair and the Four Horsemen and Hulk Still Rules and Dusty Rhodes and Superstar Billy Graham, Jake the Snake and Roddy Piper. And, you know, there's a few more um, I didn't mention that's just off the top of my head. Those DVDs were really in-depth and really intriguing. And, you know, lately a lot of the releases that have come out have not really contained that great of DVDs. Uh, sorry, that great of documentaries. My phone's ringing and distracting me. I don't know if you guys can hear that. They're going to have to wait. Anyways, it's a really great documentary. Really, there's a lot of stuff I uh, didn't know, never knew in here especially about the other members of the Hart family. Some of them I met for the first time, didn't really know anything about them. Um, but it's just so interesting to see how things came together for this family and came together for the individuals involved. Um, it's just it's really, really intriguing. Uh, you know, Stu Hart was a very determined and dedicated man, dedicated family man, didn't drink, didn't smoke, always was trying to give his family and his kids the best possible um, and there's a lot of ups and downs in their lives they were on top of the world and then they were scrounging by and then on top of the world again and it's just a roller coaster ride of, of, of peaks and valleys that you get on here and a really real and inspiring story on this documentary um, some of the matches on here um, there's one match, if you're a British Bulldogs fan, you'll be happy to know, guys. All British Bulldogs fans, stop what you're doing and listen to what I have to say because you're never going to believe it. You will get on this DVD the Hart Foundation versus the British Bulldogs. And the British Bulldogs were the World Tag Team Champions. And the British Bulldogs retained their titles against the Hart Foundation. Now, I have a good collection of house shows um, stuff like that, but I do not own a match where the British Bulldogs are the world tag team champions and they successfully defend the title against the Hart Foundation. It's a match I've been waiting for for the rest of my, uh, for my entire life. Um, the, the whole complete entrance is on. It's so classic. The Bulldogs come out with their titles, with Matilda. They chase Jimmy Hart around the ring. Fantastic, fantastic match. Um, and that was November 1st, 1986. You have the awesome Bret the Hitman Hart versus the British Bulldog at SummerSlam, one of the greatest matches of all time. Um, you have uh, Bret and Owen versus Rick and Scott Steiner, very cool match on here. I'm not going to say every match, I'm just going to say some of the ones I really liked. You know, Bret Hart versus Owen Hart at SummerSlam, we all know that's a great match. Here's a really interesting one. I had never seen this match, at least not since it aired, and I had maybe forgotten about it. Um, was Bret the Hitman Hart and the British Bulldog versus Owen Hart and Jim the Anvil Nine Hart? Really weird. Everyone was dressed in their Hart Foundation gear, sans the Bulldog, who was in his uh, 
Yukon Jack, but it was just unbelievable to see Brett the Headman Hart and the Anvil fighting, like my brain almost kind of like exploded. I, I was like, what am I looking at? Really, really interesting, cool thing to see. Um, and yeah, there's just a lot of really good matches on here. Uh, you get a little uh, Hart Dynasty versus DX uh, in 2009, December 2009. But uh, I didn't go over every match there. But it goes right up. This documentary goes right up to the, um, the Hart Dynasty, Tyson Kidd and D.H. Smith and Natalia. Um, it goes right up from when Stu Hart was a little boy, right up to those guys. And the story is just amazing. I can't recommend it enough. I've already watched this two times, and because uh, I had to show it to someone else, and I'm probably going to show it to someone else and watch it a third time uh, really soon. Here, it was really, really well done. Excellent, excellent companion to the Brett the Hitman Heart DVD. If you don't own the Brett the Hitman Heart, I suggest buying them at the same time because if not, after you watch this, you're going to want to run out and grab that immediately. So just get it ahead of time. I promise you're not going to be disappointed. And I'll see you next time on Hot Water Wrestling.